Our next story is about an educator planting seeds in an urban food desert and harvesting a bumper crop of benefits. I'm Jane Pauley. Stephen Ritz and his Green Bronx machine are opening young minds to science, nutrition, and wellness. For many communities, education is the priority. For the children of the community that we serve here at CS55, education is a fourth priority. For them, safety comes first, shelter, and food. Then they can focus on education. The Bronx, unfortunately, is the unhealthiest county in the entire state of New York. The Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, for four years or five years in a row, has found that out of 62 counties, we're dead last. High rates of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, et cetera, et cetera. Our children have become accustomed to putting things in their bodies with preservatives, too much sugar, too many things that does not allow them to function the way they need to function inside of the classroom. The obstacles that these children face, be it drugs, poorly maintained streets, overcrowded housing, rampant unemployment, chronic disease, obesity, are insurmountable. When I met Steve Ritz about four or five years ago, Steve Ritz was putting gardens together in different communities. I said to myself, you know what, that's somebody I need to get in contact with. Hi, Mom. Good morning, sweetie. Hi, Mom. Good morning. Every day when I walk through that door and I see some little kid smiling or some kid with a question or some kid wanting to plant a seed, that moves me to do something greater. So we've got all kinds of seeds, but guess what? They all make plants, and seeds are like people. They come in all sizes, shapes, and colors. The Green Bronx Machine is a very interesting program. When you teach kids where their food comes from, how to grow it, that a seed well planted can give you a crop of epic proportions, that's game changing, not only in their personal life, in their academic life, and in their aspiration. We got some basil, I have some lettuce, I have some spinach. And in the least likely place to grow food, in the least likely community to have access to it, we are generating healthy school performance and growing happy, healthy, well-adjusted kids. We're proud to use Tower Garden technology. And what we do with that technology is go from a box that weighs 15 pounds to a garden. What's gonna come through this tube in the middle? Water. Water. And where's it gonna go? and then when it comes out of the top, it's gonna hit this and do what? Go down, 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 down. We're gonna go like this, boom. Boom, see how it snapped right in? Here we go, get them in, put the peppers at the bottom. I've planted more than anybody. When kids take care of their plants and understand the values and fluctuations of pH and chemical imbalances in the water, they start really grasping why certain things like too many sugar-sweetened beverages are dangerous for them. So really what I'm growing is awareness. Four, five, six, seven. Seven times seven is 49. Students are starting to realize that there's mathematics in, in, in farming and gardening. For example, when they do the pH levels of the water. That's so cool. Or they're measuring a plant. This is about three and a half. It's OK. But just look how dangerous that is. The students like science. The students are engaged with science. Let's have science be the engagement for the math and literacy work that we're trying to accomplish. One of the immediate results that we have is an increase in attendance rate. Students want to come to school because they're doing all this exciting stuff. It's really fun because I get to grow plants and, and the best part is, is getting to cook it and, and eat it. Ooh. When kids learn that plants are living, breathing things just like they are, they tend to respect nature and themselves and their environment better and more. And they learn that they are part of a greater interconnected society. 
And my job is to create a rainforest, if you will. And most importantly, a program like this moves children from being bottom-end consumers to producers. And when you move children from being consumers to producers, you change their outlook on life and you change their, their orientation to life. My mom makes really good salad, but I have to tell her about this one. What gets me incredibly jazzed about this program in particular is that there is a strategic vision for changing these kids' lives and changing, by extension, the communities where they live. If we build this farm out, we can then provide foods in, uh, uh, to the community and start to change the mindset of the community through our school. What you do in four walls can be pushed as far out into the community as possible, and you can bring the community in. Two, three. And that's what this is about. One, two, three, get you ready? One.